When your five to seven year old child asks you, where do babies come from? After you get over the shock of the question, you might be wondering, how much information should I give them? I want to be a great mom, I want to be a great dad, but how much should I say? You know, at that age, five to seven, it's, you're a few years out from even seeing any of the signs of puberty yet. You're very, very immature. The answer that they're looking for is a simple answer. So let me give you a couple scenarios and some suggestions. All right, if what they are asking is, how is the baby made? My suggestion is to tell them, mommy gives an egg, daddy gives a sperm, and they come together and magically they make a baby. That may be enough to appease their curiosity. If they have more pressing questions, use some good judgment here. You know the maturity of your child. Um, you have a long time to get into all these discussions. Maybe you could try to divert them into something else rather than getting into a big discussion about reproduction. But they may be fine. The second um, suggestion I have here is if what they're asking is where does the baby come from physically, uh, this is a great opportunity to teach them a little bit of anatomy. So explain to them that inside mommy is a very special place called the uterus and the uterus is special for the baby. So the baby grows inside the uterus, and as the baby grows, mommy's tummy grows and gets bigger and bigger. And when the baby's ready to be born, the uterus has all this muscle, strong muscle, and it pushes the baby out. And that's how we get the baby. So that description is a wonderful one because you're actually teaching them a little bit of anatomy, which I love, and I love to start early and beginning to lay a foundation of information that we're gonna build on year by year. If you're using uh, my book, I'm a girl or I'm a boy, special me, I have some pictures in there of a baby growing inside mom's uterus and that might be handy for you when you're talking to him. Or another option is to use one of your own pictures of you when you're very, very pregnant and help them to see how big your tummy got and have a little talk about the uterus and the baby. Keep these discussions simple and brief. Build on them, and it's great that you get to start these discussions when they're really young. Build on them year by year as they mature and can understand the content that you want to teach them. But just make sure you don't go too far for where they are um, at the maturity level that they're at. This is so exciting, the beginning of some wonderful discussions and great deep relationship building with your child. I'm Dr. M with Anatomy for Kids.